everyone, and welcome to Two Plus Minutes with an Art Eater. I'm your host, Maya Lucas, and I am so excited to be introducing our remarkable guest this episode, Liz Stringer. Welcome to the podcast. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> Please introduce yourself, tell us your pronouns, and what you do in the arts. So my name is Liz Stringer. I go by she, her, and I am a third-year student in the MFA program um, of visual arts. How did you first discover your passion for art? Oh, that's such a hard one because I actually was primarily a human biology major first at UCSD and I decided that I wanted to double major in visual art and human bio. After undergrad, I sort of discovered this passion where I was, one, excited about just continuing this practice. Art is almost as hard to describe as science to different people. So it was sort of this really thinking about how do you talk about art and science? And then also within my own passion, like how do you combine biology and art um, into a practice? So my visual art practice is really science, like science fiction. What has your experience been in the graduate art program at UCI? As a good friend of mine likes to say, it has been like a second round of puberty or art <laughs> puberty, <laughs> where the most intense moments of growth in your like art career are sort of happening and rumbling and sort of pulling it together. So there's been a lot of growth and a lot of friendship through that growth with faculty sort of pushing you along the way to help guide and steer that growth in a really nice way. So I would say my experience has been overall positive, even though it started off like sort of right while we were recovering from COVID. But other than that, it's been positive in a really nice way. Tell me about your work in the MFA thesis exhibition. Oh, okay, so I like to describe it as science fiction based because it is sort of thinking about a person's uh, corporeal experience between like sort of the metaphysical and physical planes. So there is a lot of science fiction in the sense that it is thinking about our ability to change our surroundings, transform sort of through trauma or adversity and really sort of coming together as sort of this collective body. So what you'll see is a lot of units that are sort of coming together and transforming into this grander body, smaller ceramic parts being sort of welded and resin together to form these like amalgamated tissues and bodies. So very monstrous, but very alive. It's me with eight other individuals who are actually showing the best work that they've done in three years. So it's a really exciting time for all of us, as well as for viewers to come and see just like how we're going to throw down and like show our <laughs> best work. It's very exciting and we're working in a range of materials. That's one special thing about UCI. You won't just see one specific material. It's ranges from sculpture to painting to installation to multimedia to performance. It's all around. What inspires your work most? There are a couple of things. One, science fiction, I sort of believe in the potential of like psychosomatic change where like our microbiome can sort of come together to create this really crazy transformation within our own environments. I love biology, more specifically microbiology. And then I'm also a huge medieval nerd and medieval literature. So really thinking about aspects of like courtly love and its ability to sort of explore narrative change and transformation in an individual in sort of a female perspective and a female problematic. All right. And on that note, I believe it is time for speed round. <laughs> okay. I'll ask you some fun <laughs> questions and just try to answer as fast as you can. Okay. Favorite artist? Abraham Cruz Villegas. Cola or lemon lime? Lemon lime all the way. I love lemon lime. <laughs> Favorite shoe style? Uh, chunky boot, best for ceramic studios. Yeah, we both we both have the docs on. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> movie night or game night? I'm a sucker for movie night. I like to plug in and just tune out. <laughs> what sound does an anteater make? Oh, it's a zat zat zat. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Liz. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. The yeah. time. <laughs> Once again, I'm Maya Lucas. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and zat zat zat. Mm -hmm.